Islanders film directors Charlie Fisk and Carrie Schrader. Why was this a story that you wanted to tell? The story um, basically was a story no one had heard about. Uh, we thought it was really important um, to bring the story to light because it's about a group of women who really overcame the odds, a group of underdogs in the 1950s, um, totally unheard of for women to really go out on their own and be pioneers, and, and that's what they did, and, and so we really wanted to tell people about it and, uh, and get the story out there, for sure. Without giving too much away, kind of tell us what you focused on in the film. What's it kind of about? Well, we really wanted to show these amazing characters. You know, they're just, they're great protagonists. They're heroines. You know, they really have, you have the sort of the sweetheart, you have the sort of grouchy rule follower, you have the show person with, with Babe and Louise, and they sort of had a rivalry. And you have Shirley, who's just such a consummate professional and teacher. So you have these great personalities, and at times they clash, but then you really see that all of them made this happen. All of those personalities together made this happen. And so we really focus on those characters and the general story. Again, they faced a lot, a lot of challenges. So it's just a great drama to watch, I hope. <laughs> I'm here with founder Marilyn Smith here for the screening tonight of the Founders film. How does it feel to have your story being told tonight? Awesome. I have to thank uh, Kari Webb and uh, Stacey Lewis for their interest in this too because they wanted it done and they've helped so much. But Charlie and uh, Maggie and all the group, I just, to think that our story is worth documenting for history. People will read about us starting the LPGA 100 years from now. What do you think the rest of your fellow founders would have to say about it if they were with you here tonight? Oh, they would love it. And I'm sure Louise just passed away, and I'm sure she's in heaven. And I'm sure she's going to see the, the film tonight because she's a big part of it. She, she had a, a, a lot of business sense, and under her leadership uh, as president of the LPGA, she really helped our, our uh, LPGA become the organization it is today. Stacey Lewis has played a big part in making this Founders film a reality. You actually started a whole program last year with birdies and raising money. Why did you want to get involved and help them with this project? I just thought it was a story that needed to be told. And, um, you know, they're having trouble raising money. And, you know, I thought it, the birdies would be a cool way to raise some awareness, be able to, you know, tweet and talk about it every week. And we ended up raising a pretty good amount of money. Um, so it turned out to be a good deal. The passion of um, Charlie and Carrie um, and the crew that, um, the production company that put this together, um, you know, they didn't, they, you know, they put a lot of hard work and, and sweat and tears into this themselves. And I don't even think they really knew a lot about our story until they kept digging deeper and deeper and doing the interviews. And, and their passion for it, um, you know, we should all as LPGA members have, have that much passion or more because of what the, these 13 women have done for us. I'm here with PGA of America Secretary Susie Whaley. What was it about this project that the PGA of America believed in? One of our key initiatives is diversity and inclusion and the empowerment of all that want to play the game. And we see this as a forefront of that. Uh, these women certainly went through everything that was necessary to create the tour that it is today and the PGA of America believes in their athleticism, the professionalism, the character that golf provides, the determination, the perseverance. Um, we all believe in that as an industry and we really want to be a part of that as we move forward.